good morning students last class we saw about the sedimentary rocks the sedimentary rocks are formed by the sediments derived and deposited by various agents due to high temperature and pressure the undisturbed sediments of long period cemented to form sedimentary rocks now we'll see about the characteristics of sedimentary rocks they have many layers they are non crystalline rocks they contain fossils they are soft and get eroded easily look at this formation of sedimentary rocks in the sea bed deposition in the sea transportation of material sea level these are the material its sediments in the layers stone gravel sand mud silt sedimentary rocks are the important source of natural resources like coal oil and natural gas types of sedimentary rocks there are three types organic sedimentary rocks these rocks are formed as a result of the decomposition of dead plants and animals it contains fossils example chalk tal dolomite and limestone mechanical sedimentary rocks these rocks are formed from the disintegration of igneous and metamorphic rocks the natural agents erode and transport these rocks and deposit them at some places after a long time they cemented to form rocks natural agents this is a rainfall flood and temperature then forces of the wind transport the materials and forming deposits of some places then after the long time long period of time they cemented to form rocks it, this mechanical sedimentary rocks examples are sandstone shale and clay chemical sedimentary rocks these are formed by precip precipitating of minerals from water it is formed usually through evaporation of chemical rich solutions these are also called as evaporites example rock salt then third type of rocks is a uh, metamorphic rocks the word metamorphic is derived from two greek words meta means change and morpha means shape when igneous igneous rocks are the parent rock and sedimentary rocks subject to high temperature and pressure the original rocks get altered to form a new kind of rock called metamorphic rock actually this process is a uh, from the parent rock and sedimentary rock it's get altered to form a new kind of rock it is a metamorphic rocks metamorphism is two types they are thermal metamorphism it is a thermal means heat the change in the rocks is mainly caused by high temperature the process is called as thermal metamorphism second it is a dynamic metamorphism dynamic is a pressure if the change in the rock is mainly caused by high pressure the process is called dynamic metamorphism metamorphic rocks see this is a original form it is a parent rock igneous and sedimentary rocks formation of metamorphic rocks from igneous rock granite into gneiss and basalt into slate formation of metamorphic rocks from sedimentary rocks sandstone into quartz shale into slate one of the world wonders taj mahal in india was built by white marble it is a metamorphic rock then characteristics of metamorphic rocks Metaphor metamorphic rocks are mostly crystalline in nature they consist of alternate bands of light and dark minerals these are the three types of rocks and now we'll see the rock cycle igneous rocks are the primary rocks formed first on the earth these rocks are weathered eroded transported transported and deposited at some places to form sedimentary rocks the igneous and sedimentary rocks are changed into metamorphic rocks under the influence of temperature and pressure 
the rocks of the earth crust keeps on changing from one form to another form under various natural forces and agents the endless process is referred as rock cycle look at this diagram this is a rock cycle diagram it is a parent rock igneous rocks then melting and cooling then during high heat and pressure weathering and erosion then sediments it formed the sedimentary rocks again from the igneous to sedimentary rock it gets altered due to high pressure and temperature it becomes a metamorphic rocks then uses of rocks rocks have been used by mankind throughout the history rocks are highly valuable and important to almost all aspects of our economy the minerals and metals in rocks have been found essential to human civilization rocks are useful for making cement writing chalk fire building materials bath scrub curb stone ornaments roofing materials decorative minerals these are valuable source of minerals such as gold diamond sapphire etc then quartzite and marbles are the rocks commonly used for construction and sculpture works marbles are widely used for making beautiful statues and decorative items such as vase tiny gift articles and grinded marble is used to produce plastics papers etc